Well, welcome back everyone to Nottingham and here we are for the big one, the WBA Featherweight World Championship between Nottingham's Lee Wood and Belfast Michael Conlon. This Saturday in the Nottingham Arena, live on the zone around the world, just under 10,000 people in a sold out arena will see a great fight, an incredible atmosphere, of course, huge support from the city of Nottingham and huge Irish travelling fans as well coming to see if Michael Conlon can become world champion. Delighted also to be joined by Jamie Conlon up here from Conlon Boxing and Michael's brother and Ben Davison, Lee Wood's trainer as well. Jamie, we'll start with you. We were here in the, the same hall probably, what, eight weeks ago before going to Belfast for the press conference. We always hope that both fighters make it safely to fight week and a couple of days away now from what will be a tremendous night in Nottingham. Yeah, we came, we came here six, seven weeks ago, full of confidence. We come here today even more confident, confident in the preparation that, that was put in over the last eight weeks, confident in the, the mindset that he's brought into this fight, the, the mental attitude that he's, that he's put into the camp, the, the challenges that he's faced in camp. And we, we come here to, to upset the apple cart, to, to, to spoil your boys' party and send the Irish home happy. We should see a great atmosphere, of course, big support from the city, but huge travelling Irish support as well. Do you believe going into this fight that your brother is, is the big favourite in this fight? I mean, he's travelling into the backyard. He's talked about that's something that he wanted to do to become a world champion as well. But do you believe that he is the favourite in this fight, the better fighter all round over Lee Wood, and you expect him to become world champion on Saturday? I fully expect him to come, become world champion. Um, regarding favourites and underdogs, we have no real thought on that. We come in as the, the B-side fighter, the, the underdog mentality, but we're fully confident to become a world champion. I truly believe this is his destiny. Lee Wood is just an obstacle in the way that he was overcome. Uh, this is Michael Conlon's party. This is the one he's coming to, to take home, and this is the one that the fans will be able to, to sing about and tell each other about in bars from, for time to come. People talk about always in boxing that you know when the bell goes, it's just those two in there. But how much will the pressure of Saturday night as well, the tactics, the game plan, two tremendous trainers in Ben Davis and Adam Booth here as well. So many great dynamics in this fight, so many things that could maybe change just small percentages in this fight. You think that both guys ready to handle the pressure. Can Lee Wood handle the pressure of this huge home crowd on Saturday? Well, I think that's something Lee is going to have to uh, deal with. The, the mental stress that he's going to be under. He's, I seen a bit last night when he was doing his workout. There's going to be mental pressure on him more so than Michael. Michael has dealt with mental pressure throughout his career. Um, we, we spoke about it last time. He was thrusted into the spotlight from, from day one. Lee has done it when no one was watching. He won a world title in front of uh, 25 people in your back garden. So he, he, this, is, this is the big thing. This is going to be where everyone is baying for blood. Everyone is pressuring him on. Expecting him to win, he is in his hometown the favourite. Uh, in, in, in our hometown, we're the favourite. So when we're, the, the fans coming over are fully expecting Michael to win. The fans coming over are fully expecting to be to be joyous on Saturday night to, and going home with a, a new world champion. But us as a family, um, we, we're just we're just ready. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Destiny is in front of us. Lee Wood is just, just another object in the way. Michael is super fantastic. It's all about Michael Conlon on Saturday night. Thanks, Jamie. Ben, um, huge fight. Obviously, the, the way that Lee Wood's career has transformed, um, of course, under your guidance as well, with, with, through the series and, and through the, the victory over Reese Mould, but particularly the victory over Kanzu as well. I know all trainers say we've had a great camp, but Lee looks in tremendous shape yesterday in the media day. The, the night of opportunity of destiny is upon him, headlining, defending his world championship in his home city. Yeah, I'm over the moon with the training camp that Lee's had. Um, look, preparation doesn't stop until the first bell, but um, we're ready, very confident. Um, Lee knows exactly what he needs to do, and it's just a case of getting in there and doing it now. Obviously, people talking about Lee Wood as a puncher, Michael Conlon, the ability, all-round ability, as a, but such a fascinating fight to debate. What kind of fight do you expect? No, you're not going to give away tactics as well, but a bit of everything in there on Saturday night. We know Lee can, can fight, he can punch, he can box. So can Michael Conlon. Should get a really, really good high-level fight. Yeah, I think it's just very easy for people to go Mick on points or Lee by stoppage. You know, that's the only outcome that people can see. But, you know, as I said before when we was here a few weeks ago, I think Mick punches harder than what people think he does and Lee boxes better than what people think he does. People said the same thing when Lee was boxing Kanzu. He can only win 
by a knockout. But not only did he nearly beat Kanzu quite widely on points, he stopped him in the 12th round. So I don't believe that that's the only two possible outcomes of the fight. I think that um, you know both guys are very versatile and that they're potentially momentum shifts throughout the fight and adjustments will have to be made by both guys throughout the fight. Um, and it's a fantastic fight and that's why we've got a sold out arena. A case of also keeping Lee calm or don't have to do that. You know, we talk about the pressures of this fight. The city has been dying out for this kind of night for a long time. Huge Irish support as well. The, the noise in there will be a, a, just a cauldron of ferocity on Saturday night. Keeping him calm or you expect him to thrive under that kind of situation? Yeah, I highly expect him to thrive under that situation. Um, it's, you know, I don't think that there's any problems with that. Lee is one of the most calmest um, fighters that I've had working with um, in the change room preparing for a fight. Um, knows exactly what he needs to do, as I previously said. And uh, it's just a case of getting in there and doing what he needs to do now. Michael? Welcome back to Nottingham. I know you said yesterday the talking is over, but every time you do that, you give a very entertaining interview. So I'm hoping we see the same in that today. But you look very confident, very fired up for this fight. Opportunity for you to become world champion on Saturday night. Yeah, um, I'm ready to go. Uh, my confidence comes from my preparation. Preparation has been fantastic, as I say, continuously. I'm very, very confident, very relaxed. We're here in Nottingham. It's time to go. Um, there's not much more to say other than I really can't wait for Saturday night. I know that obviously the talking's done, etc., and you're calm and relaxed, but you are very passionate as well. Seen a couple of interviews as, as well. Fired up for Saturday, and is that part of the plan? I mean, talk about staying calm. Do you even want to stay calm? I mean, the atmosphere is going to be so intense on Saturday night. You're looking to, to let that fuel you and put in a fantastic performance. Listen, I'll, I'll, I know what kind of performance is coming on Saturday night. This is the most relaxed and calm I've ever been on a fight week. I don't feel any pressure. I'm here in the opponent's back garden. You know, I've got to rip the belt off him. You know, everybody's here to see him. I've got fans coming, but I've fought in front of thousands already, so it's nothing new. But you know, I'm just here to do a job. Um, I hope Lee has had a fantastic training camp. I hope he's the best Lee Wood there's ever been, because I believe it will be. Um, and it'll make it all the sweeter when I beat him. Expected to go through a tough fight on Saturday night to rip that belt off Lee Wood and ready and prepared to do expect, whatever it takes. I'm just expecting a, a fantastic performance by myself. Lee, ready to go. Can't quite believe uh, we're here back in Nottingham and your story is an incredible one. I remember watching you in Hull many, many years ago when you were weight drained down at Super Bantamweight and getting stopped by Gavin McDonnell in a, in a massive shock upset at the time. A lot of people felt that your career might be over the way you've built yourself back up through all kinds of adversity to get yourself in this position, it is an incredible story. And I guess in your mind, you have to make the absolute most of this opportunity on Saturday. Absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm buzzing to be here. It's been a long, hard road to get here. Like you said, back in 2014, terrible night. That was a terrible night. But um, you know, I knew the reasons behind it and I went away and corrected them. Um, same with both the defeats that I've suffered. I hadn't suffered defeats in this fall, just keep chipping away and hope something comes. I went away, changed my team, um, improved as a fighter, stayed disciplined, lived the life. And that's why I'm bringing this big night back to Nottingham. And, you know, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happy with my camp for this fight. I couldn't be happy with my team. Everything's on point. And like Mick said, I've got the best version of him. He's got the best version of me. There's no excuses after the fight. The best man I win. When you talk about that sort of rise back and that confidence, how important has confidence been played a part in that? Obviously, the Reese Mould win was great, but the confidence going into the Kanzu fight, I remember sitting there at the press conference thinking, I don't think you win this fight. You all <laughs> believed you, did, you would win this fight. You've won the fight, and I'm guessing now we're going to see the confidence go to a whole other level in this fight. You really believe that you're the better man. You believe you're the favourite in this fight. You believe you defend this title on Saturday in your home city. For sure. Look, we rocked up at fight camp. And people were basically saying, good luck, thanks for coming, thanks for turning up. And we was like, we were kind of taken back, like we didn't know what to say to them. And as I did these interviews and said, look, I'm going to win this fight. And obviously they hear that from every fighter. Um, but confidence has never been an issue with me. But, you know, I've been confident when most kids didn't have nothing to smile about, nothing to look forward to. I've been confident in the gym without fights coming up for two years, two injuries, defeats. Um, and I was confident in my ability, confident I'd get there in Rio. And finally, I know as a, as a kid you grew up going to big fight nights in this city, watching Froch, and of course we remember Froch Butte as well, but yourself, 
sold out arena on Saturday night. You're Nottingham faithful, of which there are many. Travelling Irish fans as well. Just the most incredible atmosphere we're about to witness. This is really what, what dreams are made of for you as, as a boyhood fighter from Nottingham. This is the absolute ultimate for you on Saturday night. <laughs> Fairy tale shit, innit? <laughs> no, honestly, um, all, the, all the arena fights were called. I was out in the stands in the cheap seats screaming. Um, sometimes I'd get a band off my friend's dad who used to take call on pads and I'd go backstage and, you know, um, where are you? I'm now headlining in the same arena. And this isn't the peak, this isn't the top, this isn't where I stop, you know, I'm going to go further than this. And my dream of the city ground fight, you dangled that carrot in front of me for so long. You said this so that after this fight, it's happening. So um, I'll hold you to that. But eyes on Saturday night first, coming to get the job done and, and look good doing it. And finally, to the, the guys up here, I know that... We've asked this question before, but Jamie, predictions for Saturday night? I know a Michael Condon victory is, is a general prediction that you will give, but any other insights into how your brother wins this fight? You believe he can win this fight by stoppage? I think it's going to be a masterclass. I truly believe it. Fantastic preparation. He's looked unreal in camp. A masterclass on Saturday from Michael Condon. Ben, I know, easy to say, a Lee would win, but talk about his power in this fight. You felt that power on the pads. You expect him to be a dangerous man in there. Yeah, of course, there's obviously not too much room for error. Um, but I believe that Ali would win via points decision or by knockout. Michael, by any means necessary? You have the ability, Michael people talk Conlon about wins. you might be just... Michael Conlon wins, that's all it is. Nothing else, Michael Conlon wins. And Lee, you're going to give me the stoppage prediction or just I the Lee Wood victory? I am coming, I'm feeling great, um, explosive, dangerous. I'm coming. Good. Well, we can't wait. This is going to be some atmosphere on Saturday night. Just under 10,000 sold out at Nottingham Arena for the WBA Featherweight Championship of the World. Nottingham's Lee Wood against Belfast, Michael Condon. Do not miss this live on the zone. We're going to have a head-to-head -head up here now. Thank you.